Hello Aries, welcome to your uh, month of December of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For this reading, I've been guided to the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. Okay, so <clears throat> time to rest. At the very beginning of December, it's time to rest, it's time to prepare, um, and to wait. Because there is some form of wisdom that is coming to mind here. Uh, an ability to overcome certain obstacles and challenges through your achievements. Uh, there's also a dog here and a family. So, um, yeah, if there's been some form of conflict in the area of family, spirit saying, you know, pray to spirit, rest, and move beyond those conflicts. Uh, because they're only going to cause negative juju in the year of 2024. Yeah, see, in the relationship sector, there's a call for patience and planning. Aries, and here we have that family again. So in the creative aspects position, there's a message of uh, recognizing, even if it takes the entire month of December, that your patience has paid off. Uh, that as you obtained additional wisdom, or that uh, wisdom is coming in here, regarding what you are creating, regarding your achievements, uh, that your patience is now paying off, that you are moving into the direction of a change in the area of home, family, or business. Yeah, there are some who are fearing uh, taking action because uh, of maybe the negative things that have transpired in the past. But Spirit's saying you can overcome obstacles by taking a breather, letting go of your fears, and moving forward in a very patient way. As you plan meetings with family and friends, uh, we have some really good things coming full circle here in the emotional aspects position. So yeah, something is going full circle. Uh, for some, it could be right around the 21st of December where a beautiful new portal opens up, uh, where you recognize that your achievements are paying off, what you've been creating, what you've been working towards, what you've been praying for has opened a doorway for you has closed a chapter on the difficulties or the concerns. Mm, there's that spiritual union card that used to be in the relationship sector. Now it is in the subconscious position. So do not fear connections with others. Spirit is saying now's the time to come into union with those uh, who truly care about you, who support you. Um, if you are single, there is a spiritual union that could take place here. Um, again, maybe around the 21st of December. So, you know, ground yourself, meditate, trust in prayer, um, and don't give in to fear. Because uh, patient planning is going to lead someone here towards a union that is meant to be. A brand new path with the number one here. So as you pour your heart into uh, this energy of forgiveness, of rest, of preparation, uh, slowly but surely and very patiently, Spirit saying we are going to uh, open up a doorway where you come into union with others and it just feels blessed. <clears throat> In the inner strengths position, we have some who are wanting to stand their ground. They're researching, trying to obtain additional wisdom uh, regarding their foundation, their bills, their money, their business. And um, they are fearful of standing their ground and asking for what they want. So Spirit's saying, take a breather, trust that uh, things were difficult up to this point, but now with the universe card, there's going to come some excitement here that there is a commitment partnership or contract that's showing up, just like Spirit said. All you need to do is remain patient. Uh, if and when an opportunity comes that you've been working towards, uh, Spirit is actually giving the collective the strength to ask for what you want. Don't fear asking for what you want because people are acknowledging the things you have created up to this point. So Spirit's saying, choose wisely for we are leading you beyond old emotions into the direction of patience. We got patience again, patiently planting seeds, projects, ideas, and directions, connections, recognizing that if one situation doesn't turn out, it's because it wasn't meant to with the obstacles and challenges card. That means Spirit's saying, we're shifting you into a different direction, so remain patient. Yes, we're helping the collective to be free from energies of the things that caused heartache or loss, worry and concern. 
the replacing those energies with the number one here triumphant success pouring your heart into what you love who you love uh, is definitely going to bring some form of breakthrough um, and is going to heal the collective from this inner disruptive energy quick and unexpected passion and excitement is what's showing up here so this could be professionally or personally but a sacred union is what's coming to mind here for some aries around the 21st of december yep the hot heart chakra is lighting up there's that number one the awareness that oh my gosh uh spirit has helped me to manifest a commitment partnership or contract and now i'm taking this wisdom and i'm moving forward positively I'm letting go of the, the sadness, the worry, the fear, and I'm recognizing with the number one and the number six uh, that the seeds I have planted are bringing me into connection with a spiritual union that is blessed, a union that is successful. Discontent and boredom. Yeah. So, you know, this is about continuing to set and meet personal goals, pouring your heart into what you love, trusting that eventually your achievements, are, your, your efforts are going to pay off. Uh, that's something the whole year of 2023 is coming full circle. And in 2024, a number eight year uh, is going to bring um, the accomplishments of goals, achievements, financial gain, personal power, and status or awards so here comes that excitement the solar plexus chakra is lighting up and many will find at the end of the year going into 2024 that uh, there is a, a doorway opening right this was the number seven year of 2023 where your efforts by the end of the year you recognize are leading you into the doorway of triumph the fulfillment of wishes the ending of uh, temptations worries and fear so this is about trusting in prayer meditating um, waiting uh, for what or who spirit is trying to bring here so we've got the number seven in the relationship sector of patience and then we have the number seven in the inner strengths position of standing your ground going into the direction of a, a beautiful foundation and accomplishments Yes, so this has been a popular card as of late. This is the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn. Uh, rest and wait. Prepare because uh, new doorways are about to open up. One or two offers or opportunities are going to be coming to mind for the collective Aries here in December of 2023. Yes, there's going to come some form of wisdom, a realization that your hard work and achievements have paid off that you in the relationship sector can now be freed from what was keeping you up at night uh, when it comes to maybe a business, an organization, your achievements, your goals, and your plans. Yes. Spirit saying, remember, creatively, the Eight of Swords is a figment of your imagination. You are not stuck or trapped. Continue to seek out the direction whereby Spirit is trying to guide you because Spirit's trying to uh, bring the collective into uh, this energy of new. Oh my gosh. So see, here comes your actions by the end of the year going into 2024. Aries are leading you beyond your worries and concerns into the direction of this light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to money and abundance. New doorways are opening. Uh, wisdom is coming to mind here. Uh, there's celebration as a result of one's efforts. So continue day to day to pour your heart into what it is that you love uh, or who. Because we have uh, the manifestation here of a new path with the universe card, the world card. And the death card. So there could be a Scorpio on Aries mind that is a spiritual union or there's this realization that uh, these things that were keeping you up at night in relation to another or others has now come to an end. That you have manifested the Ten of Pentacles and now what's developing for you is the Ace of Pentacles. A brand new path of abundance, a lump sum of money, a win, an inheritance, but a path that is blessed financially for the long term. So in the inner strengths position, <laughs> what's coming in here 
uh, is going to come in quick and unexpectedly. So in some cases, uh, this is someone uh, who comes in for passion and excitement. And I think that's why Spirit's saying we're giving the collective Aries the strength to stand your ground. Um, to work instead on what you are creating for yourself so that uh, different doorways can open up. Um, do not fear maintaining your boundaries because right around the corner there's a manifestation of a new uh, opportunity. In some cases, celebration in the area of home or family. An opportunity maybe at a distance. And the ending of this process of patience and planning. Yeah, someone's conflicted about what action steps to take in the area of a business, uh, a greater home environment. Uh, Spirit's giving the collective Aries the strength to walk away from um, and stand your ground with those who come towards you uh, with ulterior motives. Yes. Uh, there could come some form of communication that makes you feel conflicted uh, for some that is keeping you up at night, maybe from air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, we've got the moon energy, so this is a lot about patience and planning and waiting for something to come to light and then recognizing by around the third week of December for the collective Aries that your proverbial ship has now come in. That hope has returned, and now you can because spirit's nudging you, take a risk to go into the manifestation of a new beginning. So there's a lot of excitement coming to Aries uh, from someone who's in a leadership position, someone who's financially abundant, stable and secure. Um, yeah, yes, because this person is bringing to mind here a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to money. There's the world again. So let go of what weighs heavy upon you. Take time to meditate. Trust that new doorways are about to open. Um, yes, rest and wait. Because we have a brand new path, not only in the area of money, finances, and career, but a new path when it comes to emotional fulfillment. See? The Two of Cups, a soul connection. A spiritual union. Something that feels right so that you can bring an end to what was keeping you up at night. Yeah, someone's gonna make a beautiful offer here and someone else is gonna be not the right offer. So don't sit in energy of fear in the actions position. You are not stuck or trapped with just one option. Stand your ground and wait because there is another one that is coming. Something is coming full circle uh, around the 21st for many Aries of December. And uh, it's going to line you up with the right people or person. Closing message from the Archangel Michael Sword of Light deck regarding the Aries reading for December. So take control of your thoughts, right? They're talking about this Nine of Swords in relation to another or others. Your thoughts are the creation of your reality in December. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. Because again, eventually things are going to come full circle with the world card. And then there's going to be the manifestation or forward movement with a spiritual union. Uh, a union that spirit is sending your way. So should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey. Or maybe you just like a general reading. Feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to those of you who have now come to me for your year of 2024 readings or who have been gifting them to others. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15 minute, one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly, to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.